Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on Fourier transform. In today's session, we are going to deal with self reciprocal function. Those who don't watch the part one videos, basics on Fourier transform, some very very important problems under the video part two and part three. Kindly watch the video first and then come back to this video. Then it will be more and it is more convenient for you to learn the problems. Now let us go into the session. In the first three videos, we are dealing this problem. We take the function f of x equal to one, and when I apply Fourier transform. Form of f of x that is nothing but my capital F of s. I'll be getting an answer something like square root of two by pi sine a s by s. In the second problem, we took this a minus mod x, and my answer is two into root two divided by root pi sine a s by two by s whole square. Similarly, for one minus mod x, I have get this result. And in the part three video. We are dealing with the problem a square minus x square, where my capital F of s is the following answer. Now, in today's session, we are going to deal a different problem. A function f of x is said to be self-reciprocal under the Fourier transform. Then my answer should be small f of s. For example, let us consider e power minus x square by two. If I take Fourier transform of this, my answer should be e power minus x square by two. My input is e power minus x square by two, and my output is e power minus x square by two. Now, all the previous examples, what we have seen, example one, two, three, four, just a quick recap. You see the function f of x is different, and my answer is different. Similarly for three, two, one, all the problems, my f of x when I take Fourier, my output is not the same. So example one, two, three, four cannot be a self-reciprocal function under Fourier transform. So the one and only function which is self-reciprocal under Fourier transform is e power minus x square by two. And now I can define the same self-reciprocal under Fourier sine transform as well as Fourier cosine transform. So today we are going to see a very important problem. Find the Fourier transform of e power minus a square x square, and hence we have to find e power minus x square by two and prove this as self-reciprocal function SRF under Fourier transform. This is our job. So in exams they will ask like this, or they will directly give show that e power minus x square by two is a SRF under Fourier transform. Both questions are same, but my choice is whatever they give in the exam. Better you find f of e power minus a square x square, and then if you put a square equal to one by two, we'll be getting f of e power minus x square by two. This is the easiest way because if we know the general formula, I can easily solve. The problem. Okay, so I will go in this way. I am going to assume f of x is e power minus a square x square. If it is given, good. If the second question is given, so you can say let f of x is equal to e power minus a square x square. Then as usual, step one: apply Fourier transform formula. My f of x is e power minus a square x square. I will apply this. Now the biggest trouble is I cannot integrate this because we know the integration of e power a x is e power a x by a plus c. But here we have e power minus a square x square. It should be noted. And one more thing: always whenever we Solve problems under zero to infinity or minus infinity to infinity. Take one minus outside, so it is easy for you to tackle the problem. Now, since the base is same, I am going to add both. As I said, taking one minus is safer side for me to do problems in a smoother way. I'll take this minus outside. Now, still this is very tough for me to integrate. So, what should we do? We go we go back to our school days. We used to play the Formula in many movies also you see always people make fun on max. They ask what is the formula for a minus b whole square? A square minus two ab plus b square. Here I am reusing capital a b because it has a reason. Now using that formula we are going to crack the problem since small a is already there in the problem. I am going to use capital a minus b. See in this problem 
one term look like a square the other term look like minus 2ab so i will rearrange the problem keeping this a square and minus 2ab one side and i will write the remaining terms to the other side this will be a minus b whole square minus b square now it is easy we know a square is small a square x square so if capital a square is small a square x square i am simply taking a as ax next minus 2ab term is going to be minus isx or you simply say 2ab term is equal to isx both are correct since we found a equal to ax since already we found a i can easily find b b is nothing but isx divided by 2a we have capital a is equal to ax so isx divided by 2ax xx get cancel we will be getting is divided by 2a so i am writing everything one by one now this is going to be tough job for me that is a square minus 2ab but the other side it is very simple it is going to be a minus b whole square minus b square i can simply write this as ax minus is by 2a when i square this b square will become s square by 4a square my i square will become minus 1 because we know that i is equal to square root of minus 1 therefore i square is going to be minus 1 so already one minus is there minus into minus plus s square by 4a square now you can see the type division in a very clear way so now i find an alternate solution instead of this i am going to substitute this and make the problem very simple you can see this now i can multiply this minus inside and then i can split the terms because base e is common now if i split the term here my integration is with respect to x see the second term it does not contain any x therefore it is a constant i will take this out from the integration game now my problem is simple and semester 2 you learned beta gamma integration students we know the result minus infinity to infinity e power minus t square dt is root pi if i try to bring the problem like this then i can easily solve so i am going to take t equal to ax minus is by 2a then dt will become a into dx so my dx is ready and my substitution is ready and i don't want to worry about limit because when x is minus infinity t is also minus infinity when x is plus infinity t will be also getting the same i need dx i will write this as dt by da now let us substitute this in the formula so we will be getting simply minus infinity to infinity e power minus t square dt by a i'll push this a outside since it is a constant i'll be getting this as i said from the beta gamma integration we have the formula square root of pi now substituting this root pi root pi will get cancel and i am getting the answer f of e power minus a square x square is e power minus s square by 4a square divided by a by root 2 now i want to find f of e power minus x square by 2 that is nothing but my a square is 1 by 2 and a is going to be root 2 now if you substitute this my denominator will become 1 by root 2 into root 2 both will get cancel here e power minus s square 4 by a square is 1 by 2 to to get cancel and i will achieve my final answer what i want therefore f of e power minus x square by 2 is e power minus s square by 2 my input and my output are differ only by x and s so we conclude that e power minus x square by 2 e c s r f what is s r f student self reciprocal function under fourier transform hence the problem hope you enjoy this problem this is very important for exam point of view crack it in a simple way thanks for watching subscribe to our channel and share to your friends see you in the next video bye bye